Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I really wanted to do like an informal Black Friday, Cyber Monday type of haul. Um, I've been hauling a lot of stuff recently and I didn't want to do like another kind of like sit down one where like the whole backdrop is you know, ready to go. I really just wasn't in the mood for that, but I did want to kind of showcase some of the stuff that I bought. Um, a lot of these things, like I said, I picked up definitely either Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I know that a lot of stores run sales throughout the entire weekend and some of them will do like early access sales. Um, so that's really when I bought the bulk of this stuff, but I am pretty much done shop. I'm done shopping for myself for the rest of the year, even though it's like two weeks left of it, but I'm done. I just found out that it's so funny how you're willing to spend money on certain things and other things it's just like my chest i just found out i need new tires all four not just one or two i need all four new tires and if anyone has ever had the disservice of ever having to replace all four of your tires at once then you know it's expensive just replacing one tire tire is expensive so now the fact that i have to replace four so the shopping for me she's done we're done um because that is priority but while i was able to i did pick up some stuff and some of the stuff that i did pick up are things that i use throughout the year and other things really just like brand new that i wanted to test out please don't mind the house she is in a state but we're gonna we're gonna get her together uh we did put the tree up and we love the way that it looks it came out really really good um this is actually our first tree in the house so we were really happy to have been able to put it up and we love the way that it came out there's only one gift under the tree but it's on the opposite side of it you really probably can't even see it back there um and it's what i got from dior that i showed in the last vlog when i was in the city so yeah all right let's just kind of get this started so the first thing that i did well i don't it's not the first thing but the first thing that i am going to show that i picked up is the fenty um this is like the fenty butter drop the shimmering oil not the shimmering the shimmering oil body cream one so this is the one that has like the sparkles in it um it i showed it in one of my hauls already i did pick up two backups because i was worried that it was gonna like completely sell out and um i wasn't gonna get my hands on it anymore because I think it is limited. It is, for the last time I checked, it was sold out on Sephora. So I wound up going to the Fenty website and just got it from there. Um, I'm not gonna repeat much on it. It's beautiful, it smells amazing, it smells like cinnamon. I have actually, hold on, I picked something else up. I picked this up uh, over the weekend, a few days ago, and it smells so good. I've heard people say that the top is like really flimsy. My top is like, oh gosh. Mm. so nice it's such a pain to get off but um at least it's on there it's sturdy um but i actually paired these two together the one that i have that's open after i got out of the shower and they smell amazing together um i have heard some critique about the uh lotion have like the glitter being too much for some people okay um for me it doesn't bother me um the glitter isn't really like huge chunks of glitter so it doesn't really bother me um but can i see them in on my skin absolutely but i'm pretty sure also like if you're wearing something like uh where your chest is exposed or your shoulders are exposed it would probably look beautiful but yeah so i picked up two backups to these again wasn't sure if they were going to sell out because i don't know if it's a limited um a limited drop from fenty right now but in case it was i wanted to be sure that i got um backups for it because i do enjoy it and the smell is like i said it's like a cinnamon it smells like a delicious cinnamon roll and paired with this uh camera by latafa it's just it's absolutely beautiful um i've heard people say this is i did not get this during black friday so i don't want to spend too much time on this i have heard people say that it is very similar to angel share <sighs> i can see how with like the spiciness and the cinnamon um notes that i believe are in here um it's not the same though. Um, there is for sure liquor in Angel Share. There's none in here. And even though I can get like the slight booziness from it, it's just, they're not the same to me. Um, but it is a beautiful fragrance. I picked it up on Amazon. I've seen people say that it was cheaper than what it is now uh, because I think I paid like $80 for it. And I think before it was maybe like around the $50 mark, but because it blew up, of course, you know, they raised the prices and it is what it is it, it happens but this is definitely one of my uh least expensive fragrances that i own right now so i was very on board with 
purchasing it and I really do enjoy it. I've been spraying it and it's perfect for the season, the like the holiday season, the winter time, it's great. But yeah, so again, this was just like a random buy. That was just like an honorary mention, but this was picked up during the Black Friday sale. Okay, let's move on. Every year I think, um, I think Myel Organics, is that their name? Am I giving them a new name that's, over here changing this company's name okay no it is all right i pick up the myel organics um their hair products i stock up on them because i think they are like what 6.99 yeah they're like 6.99 during the sale weekend and if anyone has ever purchased myel organics before you know they are they are they're pricey so i try and stock up during that sale and for the most part like these things kind of last me um for throughout the year so i just picked up four things so i picked up two of the uh i hate to do this i hate butchering stuff babasu and mint deep conditioner and this is just uh this is just a great deep conditioner um does it have protein in it i'm just like glancing over the ingredients i don't see any protein in here but i might be missing it um but this is just like an amazing deep conditioner. The mint that the mint, the mint in this is like so refreshing to the scalp and it just feels so good. Um, I'll usually like just put this in, leave a cap on, sit under the dryer and take it off. Um, but this is such a moisturizing and such like a, a refreshing deep conditioner. So I always try and keep these stocked. I picked up two of these uh, throughout the sale. I also grabbed the pomegranate and honey this ca this camera is giving me a time i picked up the uh pomegranate and honey curl smoothie this is just really nice again i use this i'll use this as an everyday cream i won't just use it if i'm doing a wash and go and wash and goes have been something i really haven't done and you guys wouldn't even know because my hair is always in a bun anytime i've come on this camera but um i really need like a good trim and a good cut I don't like the way my hair is falling when it's curly right now to even leave it out in a wash and go. Plus it's winter time. So unless I'm diffusing it or drying it, it's, and I'm not doing that. So I try to leave my hair straight in the winter time and curly in the summer, but I will use this as like everyday use. It won't solely just be for, um, like when my, if I'm leaving my hair out, but this is again, really moisturizing. It leaves my hair really soft and easy to manage. Um, and it's easy to detangle and get through, so I love that. And last but not least, I picked up the White Peony Leave-In Conditioner. I enjoy this. Um, it's just like a lightweight leave-in conditioner. It's really nothing like groundbreaking or revolutionary, but I love the convenience of like the spray um, and that I'm able to, I don't have to like pour it in my hand, rub it together and do that. I can just spray my entire head with it, uh, but I do enjoy this. So okay, so those are all the things that I picked up from Mayel. That was it. And we are moving on. So I have been in debt. Again, none of these things are in like any sort of order. Um, but I have also needed a um, eye cream for a really long time. I have one and it's uh, like a roller ball one. It's like a, the metal tip. So I like to put it in the refrigerator and in the morning I'll rub it under my eyes so that it kind of helps like depuff. The cooling effects of it being in the refrigerator really helps it to like depuff and kind of like help with the swelling of my eye, especially because I have to wake up so early in the morning for work. So I really do enjoy that. But I wanted to try something a little bit more advanced, especially at night because I don't have a night one. And I believe that one can be used like twice a day, but I really wanted something that packed a little bit more of a punch of to use during the evening, like when I go to sleep. So I wound up picking up the Lancome Genifique Ooh, you youth activating and light infusing eye cream I so that's that I actually haven't even I didn't open it let me see what this looks like let's see where all my money went this was actually I think like regular price it was like 69 or 70 dollars and I think I paid 48 or something on Macy's. Oh, it's beautiful packaging. Beautiful packaging. Let me put it here. Um, yes, yeah, this is very pretty. I will say that Lancome uh, knows what they're doing when it comes to packaging. It's 
very like sophisticated and classy and timeless. So yeah, so I just picked up a, an eye cream. It definitely, it had great reviews online. So I just wanted to give it a try and see how it was and I'll definitely follow up. But I can't speak to anything to say how great it is because I haven't tried it yet. We are going on to MAC now. I feel like you don't really hear people talk about MAC as much as uh, they used to, but I picked up just two things from MAC. They were running an amazing sale. I think their products were like 30% off and then lip care and eye products were, I think lip products and eye products were 40% off and everything else was 30% off. So I had to, I had to buy some stuff. I don't need any Fix Plus. I am a Fix Plus diehard. I use that. Um, I know that there are a bunch of other like, face sprays out there on the market now, especially since like Fix Plus used to be huge. Um, and again, so many things have come out, but that will always be a staple of my my collection. But I actually stocked up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale where well, they had like two full-size products and a mini one. So I won't need Fix Plus for a while, but if I did, I would have bought it. Um, but I just picked up a new skin finish and by new, I mean a replacement. And this is in gold deposit. Um, that even showed but so my gold deposit i guess like while traveling completely cracked and broke on me because skin finishes are so the mineralized skin finishes are so delicate um so i had to pick up another one it was broken like and i was getting by on using it for a while um where i didn't have to replace it even though it was broken but anytime i opened it it would like fall and crumble all over my vanity um and i was just like enough is enough like this has to go like a beautiful brown girl black girl friendly highlighter and then i also picked up a lip pencil in mahogany this is new i thought i needed a new ch chestnut and cork are like my two main lip uh lip pencils but this one i've actually Oh, it's pretty it's like a like a reddish brown i mean i knew that because that's how it was described listen this is like taking it back like old old school youtube with the swatches so i just picked up these two from mac and again like i said they were running a great sale if i needed anything else or any more stuff i would have definitely stocked up at the time um and if i went in store i probably would have done a lot more damage but i just ordered everything online oh not me shoving it in there like that on natasha like the last one didn't break okay we are moving so i haven't even um unwrapped this one yet let's do that this is just like a two-piece and it, i don't think it came together no i had to buy them separately i hope they fit i hope they're not too big i picked up this outfit. i don't want to call it a set but it looks like a set just of pants like just like you know the knit pants um and if it looks big it's because they are um these are an extra large i didn't want it to be too tight and i didn't want it to um i don't um i don't know about h&m's uh, sizing sometimes so i'd rather go up than to go small and then it be sold out and then i can't get it for the price that it was the price point that i got it for and then just a sweater i did what size did i get the sweater in oh i got the sweater in extra large too i don't know why i did that um but yeah i think this is gonna be like a really cute little like either loungewear outfit or something to wear really casually and the material feels amazing um but So that was all from H&M. All right, so next up I am actually, I was really excited about this stuff. Um, I've never ever purchased anything from this company before. And yeah, I'm excited to try it. So Necessaire had a sale. They had, um, and I believe Necessaire is still running like some sort of like holiday um, special on their site. I possibly um but they were doing you could buy their basic like their i guess like their starter kit essentially or their best sellers 
um, for a hundred dollars and they included an additional serum so I really hope that this stuff is like as great as I'm hoping it is um, or that it's I've been seeing it to be um, because I was really excited about this so what came in this set was and they're all full-size products none of them were sample sizes so again it included all I think what all five products for hundred dollars and then they threw in an additional body a body serum or body oil I'll have to double check but so first up is the body exfoliator and again I've never used any of this so I have no idea I just took it out of the box um, to film the video and I just love how just like effortless and really just how minimal the packaging is it's not too much to it so this is the uh, body exfoliator we also have the i think it came with what's it, it came with two okay yeah so it came with two body serums that the body serum was included um in the purchase So we have the body serum here and again they have different um they had different ones with different scents to it but i just got the fragrance free one also because if i want to use this like obviously and i'm putting on a perfume i don't i didn't want to to mix it i prefer the fragrance free one next up is the body wash ah oh, this is so nice their their packaging is really uh like I said, the minimalism to the packaging is just so nice. And what else came with it? The body lotion. These are going right like the front of my vanity. And last up, we have the body oil. Look at, oh my goodness, no, I really, I'm really excited. That was a great sale because I don't know how much they they are individually, but I can't imagine that you can be getting all, of, all five of these, right? Like, all five of these things for $100 plus an additional body serum to include, so... That was what I got from Necessaire. We are coming down to the end of this. So the last thing that I'm gonna mention is what I picked up from Bath and Body Works because they were having a sale. I forgot what it was at this point. I don't even remember, but I stopped in. I do remember that, I think the whole store was like 40% off. I think it was something crazy like that. So I just stopped in and I picked up a few things. I picked up some hand soaps because it's always a necessity to stock up on those. And I also picked up some body care. So I grabbed the Vanilla Bean Noel body cream. <sighs> Vanilla is definitely one of my favorite scents. So I always try and stock up on products, um, anything related to vanilla if it's good. And then I picked up two of the strawberry, uh, the strawberry pound cake body creams. I just, they didn't have a full size one of it. So I got a small one. I got two small ones. Um, I believe they had body sprays to it, but I realistically didn't think I was gonna use the body sprays and I didn't wanna to be too extra. So I just picked these two up. But that is it, that concludes this entire haul. Um, like I said, I wanted it to be a very informal haul because I've, def I've been hauling a lot of stuff recently. Um, this will also count as my Vlogmas video. I have some studying to do, I think I mentioned that. Um, I have an exam coming out at work that I need to study for. So that is really what I'm gonna center my day around and that's it, I'm just gonna be in the house. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one, bye.